Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Parlay Revival. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to announce the three winners of our Patreon contest um, for who can, who's going to come sailing with us in Bocas del Toro for five days starting on the 20th of Janu January. And it's all inclusive, you just have to fly yourself down to Bocas and uh, we'll take you sailing and surfing for five days for uh, you and your partner or one of your friends or something like that. So, we'll fill the boat up with Patreons. Um, I've downloaded this Excel spreadsheet here. Now, I do have quite a few friends who are Patreon, so I'm going to do this in one cut. I'm going to do this right here, right now for you, so you know that it's all, it's all uh, legit. So I've downloaded this Excel spreadsheet. It's got all of our Patreons, current Patreons on there, and it's, it's weighted as to how much each person has um, pledged. So, for example, um, this person here, they've pledged, if they pledge $40, then they go into the draw four times and that's how it works we've got all of our patreons there this random selector here we can test it out i press choose and it will select a person um, according to how much they've pledged so that's how it works I've, I've been testing this and i know that it works really well now so we'll go ahead and we'll announce three winners of this competition so the first winner will be casey munro so i'll write that down Second person will be Pontus Bjorklund. And the last person is going to be Stephanie Janix. That's Anja's mum. <laughs> She's been a, uh, a Patreon for a long time, so I hope Steph can make it down. Um, so that's on the 20th of January. I'm going to email these three people. Congratulations, and we hope to see you in Bocas del Toro. Hurricane Irma boats tossed. Here we are at this marina. Hi, my name's Colin. I used to be a chief engineer on super yachts, but gave it all up to buy a hurricane damaged Lagoon 450. My friends and I are fixing it up as we go, and are determined to circumnavigate the entire planet. So subscribe if you want some inspiration to live life to the fullest. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the things you did. So what are you waiting for? So we've just checked all our bags into uh, Port Lauderdale Airport. We had seven bags, five of them at 40 pounds, and two of them at like 80 pounds. We just got seven bags through customs, didn't pay a cent of duty. Now we have to get all of this luggage on a taxi to the bus stop, and then we gotta catch a eight, hour, eight to 10 hour bus from Guatemala City to, city to Rio Dulce. Back in beautiful yeah. Guatemala. I'm so stoked. You're meant to pay like 20% duty, import tax and all that, and I've got 10 grand worth of stuff in my bag, so that's a massive win. Busy struggling to fit seven bags into cars, so we've got to get two Ubers now. That's our friend, he's been helping us today. You want to tip now? You want to tip? Back to the hustle and bustle of Guatemala City, driving down bloody footpaths. Look at this. Love it. We're off on a mission, following Colin. <laughs> we got seven bags <laughs> and they're coming on a chicken bus. By the way, we got the whole team back now. So Jamie's been here for a week before me. I've been here for a few days. And then Matt, where is he? There. He's back. It's the Lagoon 420 leaving. Boats are coming in and out every day now. It's getting crazy here. Everyone's trying to get out of here. Hurricane season's almost over, so everyone's prepping to get the heck out of here. And we've got Helena, who's inside. She's gonna help out with a bit of videography work. How does it feel to be part of the Parlay crew? Good. Good. Yeah, great. Amazing. Fantastic. Can't wait to get in the water. <laughs> How's the videography work coming along? 
and getting there well tutorial wise yeah and then started to look at the new footage i'm gonna help you start editing yeah sweet i could use a hand so what's been happening is jamie came back to the boat uh, about a week ago and i employed two local guys to help him out and they've just been finishing off the fairing on both the sides of the hulls and a uh, little bit of fiberglass repairs and that so they've been busy working away for the last week but yeah we're launching about a month hopefully we've got so much work to do i'm going to keep jamie on the hull with the two guys and then me and matt are going to try and install the water maker and install the charge controllers and new controls for the for the main engines rebuild the uh not rebuild but uh upgrade the sail drives so many jobs to do so the boys have basically finished the fairing but see this filling up the little pinholes that the gel coats are not going to fill so that's this like really light fairing compound this pink stuff um, and then just sand that back lightly and then it'll be ready to spray so that's what they're doing now to this to the hulls after the hurricane both sugar scoops got damaged so Guillermo one of our local workers took on the job of repairing them he started by filling in the void between the hull to deck join with resin mixed with micro balloons and finely chopped fiberglass. This void was only previously filled with silicon, so we were not too worried about it being structural. After sanding it flat, he put three layers of fiberglass over the whole repair. He then fared it with filler and sanded it back to a smooth finish, and then repeated the procedure for the starboard side. The stairs on the starboard side also needed extensive fiberglass reinforcement, so he used Roven fiberglass to repair this, which is much more strength than chopped mat. So we've got a non-skid damage here on that step, um, so instead of just trying to do a little spot repair there, what they're going to do is they're going to grind out the whole non-skid for the whole step, take a mould off this step, and then make a piece from the mould to just glue straight onto the, the second step there. So he's cleaned it all really thoroughly with acetone, now he's waxing it up. Now he's rolling on the gel coat. Now they're glassing it. Now he's pulling it up. Nice and slow. Here we go. Judgment day. Look at that. So this is obviously the mold. So it means all the little non-skid pattern is reversed. So we have to use the mold to make the real piece, which is going to glue on. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. Oh. So now he's ground the step down, taking the old non skid completely off so that he can glue his new non skid in and should be good to go. Just have to stick the mold to the step. So he's just taken the uh, all the rocks and all the weight off because it's been about half an hour, 45 minutes. So we just took it all off and it looks super flat, really good. Tomorrow we're going to fill around the edge of it and then uh, gel coat it. So a friend of ours is kind of 
offered us a boat for a ridiculously low amount and it's a Formosa 68 which is a big monohull but um, the catch is that it's apparently riddled with termites um, they're worth I think between 120 and 150,000 in uh, good condition so I'm intrigued we'll go check it out and see what we see what we're dealing with here this boat is massive 68 foot far out Ah, uh, here we go, boys. Yeah. And then this, it's a hollow behind it. So that was really interesting. It's my first look at like a boat with termites and I've just seen firsthand now the amount of damage that termites can do. The guy wants to basically give the boat away, literally, but I just don't think it's worth it because the whole superstructure is glass over ply. It's a shame because it's a huge, huge, beautiful boat, but it's just not, it's just not worth it for us anyway. So there's a there's two water tanks on this boat, and uh, both of the, both of them have electronic water sensors, um, but both of them aren't working. And I've been on the Lagoon forum, and they're notorious for failing. And new ones are $170 each. So I'm going to do away with that whole water gauge system. And I bought these, just a simple float switch. Um, that goes up and down, and tells you what the level of the tank is. And then uh, we've got the gauge here, and then I'm just going to give it 12 volts. And we'll just make sure that it's all working before I go and start drilling holes and stuff. Okay, I've given it 12 volts. And there we go. So it's working perfectly. Aim your head down a little bit. Yeah, so as, yeah, so go up. Full. So it's working perfectly. So two of them will take up 0 0.08 amps. I think we can afford that. One down. Say hello. Huh? You want to say hello to everyone? <laughs> I'll tidy up all this wiring. I just made sure it was all working. Now I'm just going to cable tie it all up and uh, we're good to go. Full water, empty water, which is exactly what we have. So the dogs have been rolling around out there and they've both got ticks really bad. It's all over their chest and it's all behind their neck. We're gonna try to soak those dogs and this chili bin. Um, now let's see if we just stay in there. How many guys does it take to clean a dog? <laughs> Good boy, Marty! Speaking of Marty, he decided to do a little turd on the deck and on close inspection. 
90% rocks. What a genius. What are you so thinking? How many coats should we do? Four coats. Four coats? Yeah, four coats. Yeah. And you do one side first, and that way you don't have too much work yeah. going on on the same day. Do, do one side, and then the next day you do the other side. So the boys are pretty close, I think, aren't they? Oh, no, no, no. We are, you know, this is ready to get it prepared and, 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 and shoot some juggles. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So one guy down, preparing the juggles, okay. just pass it with two guns. Okay. If you leave this like this, yeah. and when you start, you shoot the duck one and you start polishing, you'll see this. You yeah. will see that. And it's not going to be like very high professional. So let's do it now. Yeah, because yep. it's a lot less work to do it now. Yeah. We want to get back in the water, man. It's too excited, hot up here. Yeah. <laughs> excited, yes. Excited. Thanks, big pig. Huh? Yeah, we'll pig. do another pig on a spit. We should. Okay, yeah. Well, that was pretty exciting. luby has got nothing but good news for us. Should be shooting by the end of the week. And then we're all sanding and polishing and buffing it out. Should hopefully be out in the water by end of the month. Woo! <laughs>